I'm sorry. I've, uh, this is very tough for me to say, but I've been living a lie. Uh, I've been living a lie. Uh, Pendulum is not really the best deck right now. Uh, so as you guys could tell by a thumbnail, uh, this video is going to be on what the best deck in the world is. Pendulum is not the best deck right now. Pendulum is not the best deck right now because Pendulum is the best deck of all time, baby! What the hell do you think this is? This is the Pengon, baby! Look at this match! Do you see no Golden Lord on those mats? No, baby! This is the Pengon's channel! This is the best deck's channel! This is Pendulum time, baby! Pendulum, not just the best deck now, it is the best deck of all time! If you don't think Pendulum is the best deck right now, you are sadly mistaken, baby. So if you're ready for an updated Pendulum deck profile for any Pendulum lovers out there, because if you're an LH lover, you come to the wrong place. GTFO, baby. Pen best deck. Let's go. Pendulum time. Let's go. I got you, baby. I got your ass. Just admit it. If you don't think, bro, what? Well, why on earth would I post a tier 9 Elledge deck and call it the best deck? Come on, bro. Come on, man. We're going to be doing an updated deck profile of this meta and then discuss everything that is required so you can destroy this new meta. Because let me tell you something. This new battle list, it don't matter. It don't matter. Multi-faker, you can go to 9. Shit, Necroz, Unicorn, you go to five. You could put Golden Lord to five. You could put whatever you want, bro. If you think I'm scared of Block Dragon, you are sadly mistaken. Because this deck eats Block Dragon and eats Needle Fiber for breakfast. So, let's go. We got Servant of Endemian, Triple Abductor, and the Triple Mastery. You open one of these seven, you win the duel. I want you guys to know something right here. Every single card in this deck is very simple. It is either a draw card or an extender or a plus card. If it doesn't fit those three categories, I have zero interest in the card or an extender. Extender, draw card, plus card, that's it. If it doesn't fit one of those, I am just not interested in it. You're gonna notice there's no Magister. Magister is a lot better in like Mythical Beast versions because Mythical Beast versions fail to put up more than two monsters in one turn. So Magister now gives you a free interruption that is very easy and doesn't require much brain power. So if you fall under that category and if you're a new player, if you're a new player, I, I advise don't play this list. This list is for the smarter of Pendulum players in the world, which hey, guess what? If you want to be one of those, sign up on the Pendulum training down below. We got the best Pendulum training in the game, teach you how to play Pendulums like a god. So sign up down below if you want to get better. But again, if you're having trouble with Pendulums, and if you're losing games, play the Mythical Beast version. I mean, you will still lose games, but at least it's a lot easier way to play than this. This gives you a much higher cap and ceiling to win. Magister does not give you plays. Magister is like, oh, I brick? Okay, I'll Magister. Magister is literally a brick. If you open it, you can't do anything. It's not an extender. It just stores. It has 11 counters on it. You end your turn with that. Like, it, it just, it's not good unless your board is already good. You want cards that extend. Cerberus, if it gets Ash, you can't use it. If your opponent has Buster Lock, you can't use it. If it gets Savage Dragon, it stays in the scale, your your whole strategy is gone. It's not a plus one. Even if it gets Ash, at least Abductor, if it gets Ash, it just sits in the scale, your opponent went neg one. So Abductor is definitely better. Please try it. Again, no offense to any Mythical Beast players. It is a lower skill cap deck, and if you're a noob, you can play the deck. But if, if you want a higher cap and to destroy games, I ended up getting a uh, top four at the uh, PPG weekend tournament, like 100 players or something like that. At um, this point, I didn't win. I actually defeated every single uh, meta player. I only lost the non-meta deck in the top four, like Dino with Barrier Statue, which is crazy. The Dino is a free matchup for you destroy Dino, but uh, when the Barrier Statue is protected by the Conductor Tyranno, it's very powerful. We're going to continue. Two Jackal, three Mighty Master, one Reflection. These are your six interruptions slash negates. Uh, you need a healthy amount of these. You want to hard draw some of them. Uh, but you don't want to draw too many. This is a healthy amount because of desires. And they are for, uh, like, your, your follow-ups. Uh, you want to pendulum some of these up. You need a healthy amount. Uh, triple Corona, one-time gazer. Way better than Magister. Not even a question. Don't play Institution, by the way. Institution is only good in conjunction with drawing Cerberus. So, together, they're, they're good. Without Cerberus, Institution just sucks. So, do not play Institution. 
even if you're playing the mythical beast. Oh, if you're playing mythical beast version, you have to and just pray that you open it. But institution is not very good unless it destroys the mythical beast with it. So uh, hoping to drop both together is not that good. In the past, Cerberus was very powerful with Electrum. And uh, take it from me, guys, from hundreds and hundreds of hours of testing. Without Electrum, Cerberus is not powerful at all. Uh, you don't really want to play it. Uh, uh, two Blue Boy, Triple Souls. Do you play two Blue Boy for a specific reason? Because Needle Fiber and stuff are still going around. Block Dragon deck still going around. You need to play... Every deck still plays 15 hand traps in the main deck. So when they Veiler... Blue Boy is just asking. It's like, please Veiler me. Please Imper me. So if it gets Veiler or Imper him, you just thank your opponent. You say, thank you. I just discarded a card from your hand for free. And I'm going to continue on to my combo because I'm going to utilize one of my 17 extenders to then special summon and make Crowley with the Blue Boy. Now, because you play two Blue Boys, your Crowley can now search Blue Boy again. Or the secrets or the knowledge. So if you open Blue Boy, it's just like a waste of in interruption to your opponent. So your opponent doesn't be able to imperm your, uh, your, your draw, actual draw 2 or your Selene or whatever it may be. Uh, Triple Souls, absolutely mandatory. I know this is not a budget version. I will post a budget version uh, as often as I can for you guys. So you guys can like, get uh, used to that. Uh, the best budget version, as I said before, the best substitution to Souls is Magicians and Time Star Magician. Because Time Star Magician actually does exactly what Souls does. It, it, it sends a card to the grave. So Mighty Master, pop a scale, Time Star effect, send another Mighty Master or Jackal to the graveyard. And then you special it back. And then Time Star will also get you an extender and chronograph, so which is the souls. So it kind of does the same thing, and then it floods the graveyard with more cards to summon. One Jester Confit, because we're playing the restage package, you need your whole deck to synergize. You need as many level 3 or less monsters to special summon. So now, you have Reasoning, Instant, Instant Fusion, 2 Seeker, 2 Blood, 6. These are 6. 3 souls is 9. 1 Jester Confit is 10. You normally summon the Abductor sometimes if you open the restage and don't have a card. That is 13. So you play 13 cards in a 26 card deck So uh, because there's uh, 14 draw cards. So half your deck are restage targets. The, the math makes sense. It's on big brain level. Half your deck is restage targets by that math because of how many draw cards there are in the deck. Uh, yeah, so restage is broken. It's like not just a free special summon, but it's also a free draw uh, uh, add card and you get two spell counters. People play Citadel, right? So you play Citadel to do what? To get you free spell counters? Well, Restage gets you two spell counters, plus a special summon, plus a Dark Ruler negate. That's like a plus three compared to the Citadel, which is a neg one. So come at me, Citadel players. Come at me. Don't play that card, please. Upstart, Triple Desire, Double Seeker, Triple Allure. Uh, a, lo a lot of people aren't playing Allure, but if you're playing Chronograph on Souls, you just have to absolutely have to play it. Knowledge into the void. Play into the void, please. Now you guys see, how are you breaking, bro? 1, 2, yeah, 10, yeah, 11, 13, four, uh, 14, 15. You're playing 16 draw cards. How are you breaking, bro? You're playing 16 draw cards. If you break, I don't, I don't even know what you're saying. Like, if you, it's impossible for this deck to brick. The only brick is when you just don't know how to play. So again, I'll repeat this again. Shameless plug time. If you suck at pendulums, man, it's not the deck. It's just you. Like, sign up to the Patreon, man. Learn how to play pendulums. Like, it's impossible for this deck to brick. If you have 16 draw cards, if the other 16 cards in your deck are extenders, if your whole deck is draw cards or extenders, how on earth are you breaking? It's just impossible. There's 36 cards that are draw cards or extenders. Sorry, 34 cards, everything, uh, 33 cards that are draw cards or extenders. 33. So if there's 33 cards in your deck where if you open basically any three of the 33, you just win. How the how on earth are you breaking, bro? It, it is impossible. Anyways. Uh, and then one reasoning, uh, the only reason playing reasoning is because you're only playing four level sevens and your opponent, if they have a brain, will call level seven. Uh, so they call it, uh, especially because no one plays chronograph except for the smart pendulum players. So when they call level seven, you only have four of them. And you're going to end up special summoning like a jackal, an abductor, a uh, time gazer to protect your scales, uh, uh, or, a, or a level three or lower for restage. So reasoning is there because of the restage, they synergize together. If you were to take out the reasoning, you take it out for a second jester confit. But I enjoy as many spells as possible to ensure your cards resolve. Instant Fusion is mandatory, but only if you play Millennium Eyes. I know it's expensive, but still play it. Resage Right Hand, just please play it. The, uh, the Special Summon is so important, I can't even stress enough. Uh, because you go, a lot of people don't see plays like this, but you basically Special Summon a Magician Souls. You go into Relinquish Anima, use Resage to Special back the Magician Souls. You link the two of them into Karali. You get a free draw too. You send the Resage, you get a Right Hand. That's like a plus three right there. I'll do a combo tutorial at the end, you know, the random man, just to show you guys. Uh, nah, I take that back. You guys can see that on the Patreon, baby! So if you want to get better pendulums, I will be posting a combo tutorial of this specific deck on Patreon tonight. 
So, so go follow down below for something in the description. And also, hey, get your beautiful trip giving mask, baby. Serving of Indian Playmat almost sold out. So get yours. The Celine and Mighty Master are already sold out. Get your serum before it's gone. Actually, uh, side deck time. Ruler and Mystic Mind. Don't get me started on how amazing Mystic Mind is. This card is godly. Mystic Mind wins you duels, period, against everything. Uh, the top, like, Rock, it de destroys Rock. It destroys Dino. It destroys Mermail. You're not scared of any of those cards because of one Mystic Mind. A Mystic Mind does not stop you. You can still use your scales. You still win. Ruler, Dino Wrestle, you side these eight versus Rock and basically any combo deck. And now Alter Geist will see some more play, even though the deck absolutely blows. But you have the last eight cards for that. And you have the same eight against a Lich. Uh, VFD means nothing at all. So if uh, they're going to drop uh, four times, three times on VFD, right? Sure, no problem. Don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. Go ahead. Go ahead do that. If they do that, then uh, you, you just get rid of the actual board. And then you just mighty, uh, you just put up negates. Mighty Mass, like VFD does, does not stop you from playing Pendulums whatsoever. And Denko is like a god card against uh, any alleged deck. You summon it, even whether they're VFD or not. If they go Herald Savage or VFD, doesn't matter. Summon Denko if they go Herald Savage. Attack into Herald. Stop their negates. And is there really any way that one Savage is going to stop your five cards in hand? Please, bro, please. Triple Celine, one Crowley, one Breaker, one Crashy, one Masquerade, and one Unicorn, one Appaloosa. All this is mandatory. No questions asked. Absolutely mandatory. I tried to play without Masquerade. I tried to play without Unicorn. All these cards are mandatory. Uh, one Axe Skull Talker, again, mandatory. If you can't afford it, go buy it. I don't care. Uh, really Kush Anima, mandatory with Souls Package. Uh, Saryuja, I'm going to say for the very end. Okay, it's very important. Re restrict, obviously. Absolute Vortex, obviously. Okay, now Saryuja time. Saryuja is extremely important. You're playing 17 extenders. I'll do the math for you. The first four are extenders, because Abductor gets Chrono. So that's 7. You're playing Triple Souls at 10. You're playing Confit 11. You're playing the Blue Boys that summon themselves, so they're always sometimes going to be on the field, especially if you draw doubles at 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, the Triple Master 18, 19, 20, and the 3 Stage is 23. So you have 23, and Reflection even, 24. So you have 24 cards that special themselves onto the field or stay on the field if you draw multiples of the Blue Boys. So that's 24 cards. 24 cards, bro. Do you ever think out of these 24 cards that maybe, I don't know, let's say you draw four of them, and I don't know, maybe you have four cards on the field and one scale. Hey, where's your Sayuja going? Well, out of those four cards, two of them will go into a plus, right? So you're gonna end up having like a jackal on the field with all your cards on the field, but you have no 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 scales. Your opponent would have already Valor Imperm the Blue Boy. Your opponent would have already Valor Imperm your Selene. Your servant or abductor would have got ashed already. There are no hand traps at this point. If you got that far, if you got that far, you're gonna have a jackal and like four monsters in the field, or even five with Crowley up top. In that situation, you keep the jackal, you go into Sayusha, you draw it to your scale, you pendulum five, and because of Selene, Sayusha will also summon a card from your hand, you link again into Cross Sheep, and you still go into uh, any link to it, and you can still go into Selene. You just need to play it, without question, absolutely. Also, it just very, I kind of stress this enough, Sayusha's huge. Anyways, that's the deck, guys. I absolutely love this list, and I firmly believe it's the best updated list for this format. Made for Alter Geist as well, uh, and the entire format it just destroys the whole format completely. Huge fan of this list. Zero holes. The only hole you could think of would be the one. Uh, not bad. That was about to be a bad, uh, not PG-13 joke. So good thing I did not say it. Thank you, YouTube, for not demonetizing for even the thought of saying that. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. We're gonna be doing more videos. I know I haven't posted this week much. That's because we're going through a big life change. And hey. Just know that I'll be a full-time YouTuber very soon. We're talking a matter of weeks. So when that happens, baby, videos every day, every week, every month. Just like, listen, listen, 10 best deck, all right? Hope you guys like the video. We'll see you guys in the video. Peace! Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like what you see, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's hit 500 likes, baby. And guys, 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 if you want the best mats in the game, Servant of Endymion is insane cloth mat. Get it in the description below. And if you suck at pendulums, don't suck no mo. Sign up down below. Hope you guys like this video. See you next video. Peace.